another village across the globe, Maweni Juakali in Tirikwale County is not exceptional. Sexual and gender-based violence is any act or the threat of an act that causes physical, psychological, or emotional, economic, or sexual pain or injury to a person because of that person's gender. Our area of focus is always mentorship and empowerment drive, mental health awareness, support in kind to the needy less vulnerable in the society, education through the Mkasi Foundation YouTube channel and other digital platforms. <laughs> Kazi Foundation Kenya. Kazi Foundation Kenya. Kazi Foundation Kenya. 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 Panda wangu, na unajinda bezbale ni ni pengine wa mama kunyanyaswa, kuashana, kupatia watoto wadogo ambaye under age kazi, ambaye hawezi. Ina said ni wow. Amegumba. Mwingine atakuwa labda anaielewa CV yake. Agenda based violence ni unyanyasaji kuhusiana na jinsia tukitafsiri ile ni hali ya rahisi rahisi ama tuipeleke vile ilivyo gender based violence unyanyasaji kuhusu jinsia sawa mama amesema kunyanyaswa kwa wanawake au watoto lakini ile kabisa kuna kunyanyaswa kwa wanawake gender based violence imegawanyika mara ngapi Tutasema kwa sasa mimi nikasema mara nne au tano. Aina ya kwanza ya unyanyasaji wa jinsia ni kama physical ama ni physical gender physical gender based violence. Ukijana mangumi kuna labda umechapwa kuna vile baba anakasirika alafu ama pia mama. Eh? Pia mama anakasirika. So refreshing. We keep you posted, informed, featured, but more is touching someone's heart and changing souls within our locality in Kuala. <laughs> Our dedication team of full-time staff and part-time volunteers are committed to community development and empowerment in Kenya. Our convictions drive us to create meaningful, collaborative community projects where they are needed most. ndoko ndani ya majumba yetu kuna wanaume wananyimwa au si ndio eh lakini hawasemi hawasemi sio wanaume peke yake na kuna wanawake wanalazimishwa ni wongo mara kweli ni kweli eh examples of sexual gender based violence that can lead to death physical injury or psychological trauma including infanticide, honor killing, female genital mutilation, femicide, human trafficking, forced labor, forced marriage, confinement, 
dispossession, rape, meaning of an intimate partner or non-partner, domestic violence and humiliation. Increasing reports of physical and social abuse in online platforms led the activism through stakeholders and Tim Cassie Foundation volunteers to establish and join other organizations to champion reforms under GBV, but more so is to create awareness bridge the knowledge gap to the vulnerable at the grassroots here in Kwale County and Kenya as a whole. High inflation and cost of living has been the major contributor in this rise of GBV violence, drug and drug abuse, idleness within the majority being youth is so wanting. No. Coupled with limited access to basic needs to families, such as shelters and education, this has created a situation where SGBV thrives in many communities in Kwale and other counties like Homa Bay and Turkana. These challenges make it necessary to educate Kenyans about SGBV so that they are aware of their rights services available to the youth, to them, and the steps they need to take to get justice. Defilement. Ni kumuingilia mtoto sasa hiyo defilement. Awe ya mekubali, awe ya mekataa. Sio lazima umlazimishe defilement, eh? Ukienda kotini ukipelee kwa maadali huyu umemtia mimba na hana kitambulisho hiyo ni defilement case. Hata kama amekubali lakini akili yako na yake haziko sawa sawa. Niko na uwezo wa kumshawishi huyu kizozote nikampa pesa nikampatia kitu chochote akakubali. I must state empath empathically that SGBV is a violation of human rights. It denies the human dignity of the individual and hurts human development. In 2022, the Ministry of Gender, Children and Social Protection undertook a study on domestic violence which revealed that nearly 40% of women in Kenya have experienced physical violence while 1 in 10 were sexually assaulted. It is estimated that at least 1 in 3 women will experience some sort of violence in their lifetime. This represents more than 1 billion women worldwide. And it is the poorest and most marginalized of women who faces the greatest risk of violence. At Simkasi Foundation, we strongly believe that there remain flaws in the system and that this encourages SGBV in our country and make it more difficult for survivors to come forward. The informal sector is huge and there's a wide range of workers in such work sectors. We need to put pressure on the system to walk the talk and structures in place to deal with sexualized violence in informal sectors. The informal sector must have policies or at least agree upon an expected, expected standards of conduct to deal with sexual harassment, exploitation and rape. We met people who experienced SGBV in their workplaces, kids at their families' homes, in hands of relatives and kept their predicaments to
to themselves because they feared no one would believe them. And most of these people were abused by their superiors and they knew they ran the risk of losing their jobs and family bonds. We empower communities through programs that alleviate poverty and eradicate poverty of our minds, create awareness through kind contributions. We don't have donors yet, but a lot will be reached. And this is done by working with specific communities using methodologies to build their capacity to understand their situation and systematically reduce infection levels in GBV practices. We engage with these communities through methodological tools such as participatory and community assessment, which focuses on the community capacity to analyze their situations and to express priorities themselves. For effective understanding and appreciation of the situation, we employ different team techniques such as mapping, transect works, stakeholders analysis, and focus group interviews to gain in-depth understanding of poverty assessment before working on appropriate solutions. We also use other participatory methodologies such as participatory rural appraisal that empowers the community to generate their own information on the factors or challenges affecting them directly, share the information and plan to take action. We provide a comprehensive approach to the situation that helps in the empowerment of the whole community. This approach is carried out by an interdisciplinary team that includes experts in community development, monitoring and evaluation, sociologists and health workers versed in the assessment and evaluation of poverty levels and infection of communicable diseases. To enable the community to take advantage of the existing institutional framework provided by the government, we built the capacities of communities to take advantage of the existing infrastructure to mitigate the impacts of poverty and eradication of SGBV multi-practices. Our area of focus is in Kuala County as well, but currently based in Matuga sub-county TV village. To potential partners, donors, we are looking for you, well-wishers, opinion shapers, volunteers, friends from both government entities, private sector, religious circles, our doors are wide open. Reach out and let's continue serving our community for exclusive inspiration, insights, and more so giving hope to the marginalized within us. All are welcome in support of putting a smile as we change a life. Join us to inspire, motivate, and re-energize that dead living soul. Umoja Ninguvu. Remember to subscribe today at Mkati Foundation Kenya, share our content, follow us on Twitter as we champion this together.